We Chats with Brilliant People, hosted by Allison Rodes. Triathlons. Yep. I think that, you know, um, the reasons why people get into sport in the first place are, are many. Um, and certainly when I got into the sport as a youngster, I was feeling pretty troubled at the time and I didn't really know much about where I wanted to go or what I wanted mm. to do with my life. And so um, endurance sport like that is very structured um, and it takes up a lot of time so you don't have so much time to think about, oh my gosh, what am I going to do with my life? Mm. Um, but then all of a sudden I was good at it. So I was good at the thing that was kind of helping me overcome my troubled teenage years, shall we say. Um, and that was certainly the first time I went through the sport, but I retired and had about four or five years off and came back to the sport the second time. And for me, um, the reason I came back to it was I enjoyed pushing my mind and body to those limits and to discover things about myself. Um, because I think when you're pushing to the limit like that, you're in a very vulnerable state, uh, mentally and physically, mm -hmm. that you see a window into your soul, so to speak. Um, and that's what intrigues me about the sport. And I think that's even more so in endurance sports because you really, you push the edge for long periods of time. Um, and kinest my kinesthetic awareness is really high because I come from a dancing background. So mm. how my body feels through space um, and because it's three sports, it's really different. You know, you're in a vertical position and how your body feels through the water is a really poetic thing if it's going well. Mm. And then um, on the bike, how you maneuver through the terrain and how you deal with the equipment and how your body feels on that equipment is a really kind of, for me, almost um, kind of an artistic thing, I suppose. And then with the running, it's a very primal thing. I love to be on the land and move through the scenery and mm. all of that. So. So when you say it's like an artistic thing, is it almost, would you say it starts off, in my mind, it starts off very technical in a way, but because you're as good as you are now, it's become an artistic thing. It's almost like a, a dance. Definitely. You've got to get those yep. bits and pieces right, but yep. the way you describe it, it's like now you can flow. Totally. Would you say that you're more relaxed now but uh, or, or yep. as, is is it how you were when you started out or yeah i think i think um n through knowledge comes awareness and awareness of your body and how it feels um, and because i've been doing it for so long that awareness has grown um, and my technique has grown um, but when i truly have an amazing race um, that's when all of that technique all of that practice i can let it go and, and be in the zone and, and be in that flowing state so when it feels good it's in a flowing dancing state yeah. when it feels bad I feel like I'm just crashing and hashing and bashing and I have no sense of where my body is and I feel really unconnected mm -hmm.